morning. My name is Fred Rutledge. I am president of Royal Canadian Legion Branch 25. Welcome to our Remembrance Day service. For over 40 years, a service of remembrance has been held at Grace Cathedral in San Francisco. But this year, due to the pandemic, we had to be a little more flexible, hence our work here at the cemeteries. What you are about to watch is a collection of videos that we have recorded and edited together. The videos were primarily recorded at Liberty Cemetery in Petaluma, Green Lawn Cemetery in Coma, and Inglewood Park Cemetery in Inglewood Park. All three of these cemeteries have sections where Canadian, British, and British Commonwealth veterans are buried. And those portions of the cemeteries are maintained by different branches of the Royal Canadian Legion here in California. The members pre present represented all four California-based branches of the Legion, as well as members of the United States Naval Sea Cadet Corps, Arkansas Division. As you will see from the videos, we limited the number of individuals who attended the recordings in those three locations, and those present are maintaining social distance. Unlike previous ceremonies, that we have streamed, there is no formal master of ceremonies to guide the service. Before this event, you should have received a formal program for today's service. A sequence of activities will follow that program. Before closing today, I would like to acknowledge and celebrate the lives of two members of Branch 25 who passed away this summer. First, uh, just last month was Ron Watkins. He had been in a British Merchant Marine during World War II a native of Wales, married to Anne Watkins, who predeceased him, also a member of the Canadian Legion. Both were members of the British Legion as well. Uh, they had been married over 70 years. And Ellerin Francis, who passed away of a heart attack earlier in the summer, he had been a very active member of the branch back in the 1980s and early 90s. He was a member of the United States Navy, and his duties in the Navy precluded him from remaining an active member in our post. But we still want to honor his time with us. So with that, the rest of the ceremony will continue.
Almighty God, you are a refuge and strength. We humble ourselves in, in your presence in remembering the great things you have done for us. We lift our hearts in admiration to your praise. As you have gathered us here today, we give thanks for all those who have served their country in a time of trial. In remembrance of those who have made the supreme sacrifice at the 11th hour, the 11th day, and the 11th month, time stands still for a moment. To those who have served in Afghanistan, we will remember them. To those who have served in Korea, we will remember them. To those who have fought in Vietnam, we will remember them. To those who have served in World War II, marking the 75th anniversary, we will remember them. And to those who have served in World War I, which gave birth to our legion, we will remember them. This year took the lives of men and women in uniform in a time of peace, training, and daily operations. Most recent, on October 31st, Corporal James Choi, a member of the Royal Westminster Regiment, died as a result of a gunshot wound during live fire training. On April 29th, six members of the Royal Canadian Navy in a CH-184 cyclone were in a fatal crash off the shores of the Greek islands. On July 30th, eight Marines and one Navy corpsman during training exercises, perished trapped inside an amphibious vehicle off the shores of San Clemente Island. These are examples of great sacrifices made on our behalf. We will remember them. We give thanks to all those who laid down their lives for our sake. Let the memory of their devotion ever be an example to us, that we at last, being faithful unto death, may receive the crown of life through Jesus Christ our Lord. Amen. Dear friends, I would like to extend my heartfelt greetings to my fellow Canadians as we mark Remembrance Day. Every November 11, we dawn our poppies in commemoration of our fallen compatriots and observe two minutes of silence to acknowledge their ultimate sacrifice. On this solemn occasion, we honor every Canadian who has served and who continues to serve our country in defense of the fundamental principles of peace, freedom, democracy, and justice that we hold so dear. While Remembrance Day ceremonies across Canada will certainly look different this year. Let us all take a moment to pause and reflect upon the stories of our brave men and women in uniform and to express our heartfelt gratitudes and respect for their immense contributions. In doing so, we honor their service, preserve their legacy, and acknowledge our commitment to building a more peaceful world for all. Let, lest we forget, sincerely, Justice Trudeau.
They shall grow not old, as we that are left grow old. Age shall not weary them, nor the years condemn. The going down of the sun, and in the morning, we will remember them. We will remember, we will remember them. them. Over the past four years, the San Francisco Bay Branch has been fortunate to have the involvement of Council General for Canada for San Francisco, Rana Sakar. As our Remembrance Day service this year is being presented in a virtual format, it has allowed us to involve our comrades from the Manhattan Beach branch, the Covina branch, and the San Diego branch. As these three branches fall under the jurisdiction of the Canadian Consulate in Los Angeles, we felt it appropriate to also invite Council General for Canada in Los Angeles Zabe Sheikh to join us. Now I would like to turn the service over to Council General Sakar and then Council General Sheikh for their reflections on this day. Hi, my name is Rana Sarkar. I'm the Canadian Consul General in Northern California and Hawaii. And on this very special of Remembrance Day, I wanted to thank you for the service that you provide each and every day, and on, particularly during this difficult period that the world is going through right now. And I want to bring you back to another difficult period at the end of the Second World War, when after that war, we founded the United Nations, which, which celebrates its 75th anniversary, founded right here in San Francisco. And Canada remains committed, not just to all of our service professionals and all of you, but also to the United Nations and for what it represents. So in this very special Remembrance Day, we wish you all the best. My name is Abe Sheikh and I'm Canada's Consul General to Southern California, Arizona and Nevada, based right here in Los Angeles. And as we commemorate this year, the 75th anniversary of the ending of World War II and especially on this Remembrance Day. I want to thank you, Royal Canadian Legion, for all that you do in preserving the sights and the memories of those who have served and those who have fallen. This year is particularly tough because we have a global pandemic and there is a different kind of fight and we've lost so many. But through it all, Canadians and Americans have always been friends, partners, and allies. And in fact, when we think of World War II, as we commemorate that 75th anniversary of the ending of that war, I'm struck to have learned about an American who served with the Royal Canadian Air Force. Leading aircraftman James Wiley Daly, who was one of 6,000 Americans who joined the Royal Canadian Air Force one year before the United States even entered the war. He fought and served because he believed in those shared values, those shared hopes, those shared dreams, and those shared freedoms. We've always been friends, partners, and allies, whether you think of World War I, World War II, the Korean War effort, the Afghanistan War, our binational command through NORAD, or our work through NATO. We are always hand in hand. We are always showing the world that you can't beat friends, partners, and allies. They'll always be there for each other. And so, as you are there for those who have served Royal Canadian Legion, it's important that as a representative of the Government of Canada, I thank you 
and I salute you. Flanders fields the poppies blow, between the crosses row on row that mark our place, and in the sky the lark still bravely singing fly, scarce heard beneath the guns below. We are the dead, short days ago we lived, felt dawn, saw sunset glow, loved and were loved. Now we lie in Flanders fields. Take up our quarrel with the foe. To you from failing hands we throw the torch. Be yours to hold it high. If ye break faith with us who die, we shall not sleep though poppies grow in Flanders fields. they fought and died. May we continue to perpetuate the memory of our departed comrades by our service to country, community, and comrades. And remembering our solemn obligation, may we ever pray, Lord God of hosts, be with us yet, lest we forget. Lest lest we forget. forget. This brings us to the end of today's service. But before we conclude, I want to thank Consul Generals Rana Sarkar and Zaid Sheikh for their thoughtful words today. Thanks also to Jody Lee, Devin Seff, and Tony Wu for their musical performance. A special thanks to the U.S. Naval Sea Cadet Corps Arkansas Division and their leaders and instructors for their continued relationship and support of Branch 25. A sincere thanks to all of the members of U.S. Branches 5, 22, 25, and 156 of the International Western U.S. Zone of the Royal Canadian Legion for their participation in the socially distanced videos that made up this service. Finally, I would like to thank each and every one of you for joining us for this service this morning. Thank you. <laughs>